The LGMD Diagnosis Tool was designed to help physicians diagnose patients that are thought to have some type of LGMD. It includes all the genetically defined LGMDs as well as a number of muscular dystrophies with overlapping clinical phenotypes that could be mistaken for one of the LGMD subtypes. Using the diagnosis tool is easy. To begin, just enter a patient identifier, something that will help you identify the patient later when looking at the printed report. Next, answer a few questions regarding the patient's family history. For example, if the patient has family members with similar symptoms, you add relatives by clicking here. You can always delete individuals by clicking on the trash can if you need to revise your answers. If the patient has already had genetic testing that ruled out any of the diseases listed, you can select it to exclude it from the results. We recommend running the tool initially without excluding any diseases to see the unbiased results. Please note that diseases should only be excluded if there is genetic confirmation and should not be excluded based solely on protein data. To go to the next page of questions, click the Next button. As you answer each question on the next two pages, the graph to the right will automatically update to show the current predictions. If you hover your mouse over a question, you'll see a more detailed description of that question. Similarly, when you hover your mouse over the names of each disease in the graph, it shows you the associated gene and protein name. You can learn more about the individual diseases by clicking on the disease name. If you forget to answer any question, an error message will appear and the unanswered question will be highlighted. The third page consists of secondary questions that will vary depending on your answers on the second page. You can go back to the previous screens at any time to change your answers by clicking the back button. You can also reset all answers on each page by hitting refresh. After you have answered all the questions, a report will be generated that shows the predicted probabilities of the most likely muscular dystrophies, as well as the associated concordance scores, which assess how closely the patient's presentation corresponds to the typical phenotype for that particular disease. Recommendations for the next steps in the patient's diagnosis process are provided. For example, free protein and or genetic diagnoses are available through the Jane Foundation for patients that are predicted to have LGMD2B. You can email or download a PDF version of the report by clicking on the Email PDF button. You can easily share the report with the Jane Foundation by clicking here. When sending a tool report to the Jane Foundation, please let us know whether the tool predictions are consistent with the patient's genetic data and or whether you would like the Jane Foundation to contact you to discuss the case. By doing this, we will know how best to help you, how well the tool worked, and how best to improve it. If you like the tool and would like to share the link with others, just click on the Refer button. To start a new patient, click the Start New Patient button. To send us feedback about how the tool performed and whether you were able to confirm the diagnosis or if you have any questions or issues with the tool, please send us a message by clicking here or contact the Jane Foundation by using the contact information provided.